All right, let's take a look at the quadratic formula. So, first of all, we need our quadratic to be in standard form. So, is this standard form? Yep, we have ax squared plus bx plus c. So now we just need to remember the quadratic formula. So we have x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. So as the song said that you listened to, A, B, C, they're the letters you need. First thing I'm going to identify is A, B, and C. So A is 2. B is negative 11. And C is 5. Okay, how do I know that? Because I am comparing it to AX squared plus bx plus c. Now I'm going to substitute those in. So everywhere that I have a color, I'm going to match that up. So I have the opposite of b. Well, b is negative 11, so the opposite would be positive 11. I have plus or minus, and then I have the square root of, I'm going to have negative 11 squared minus 4 times 2 times 5 all over 2 times 2. And you'll notice I substituted into parentheses. All right, I'm just going to bring down the 11. So I have 11 plus or minus. And then I'm going to simplify all of that stuff underneath the radical. That's called the discriminant. So in my cal calculator, I'm typing parentheses, negative 11, close your parentheses, square it, minus 4 times 2 times 5, and I end up with 81. So I have the square root of 81 over 2 times 2 is 4. Now, I need to get my two answers. So that's how I end up with plus or minus. So I have 11 plus, the square root of 81 is 9. So I have 11 plus 9 over 4. And then I have 11 minus 9 over 4. 11 plus 9 is 20 divided by 4 is 5. 11 minus 9 is 2, divided by 4 is 0.5, or 1 half. What did we just find? We just found where does this cross um, the x-axis. So these are the intercepts. So one solution, I have x equals 5, and the other one, I have x equals 1 half.